Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Okay, hello everyone. I'm Super Mario Sun Clover, and welcome to the game the guy just said. Okay, but um, yeah, it's kind of a random uh, game to start doing Super Monkey Ball LPs on. But you know, this is the only ga game in the series I have that's more like the originals in the sense that you just go through a bunch of um, obstacle courses and all that. Um, I, uh, I, the only other game I have in this series is Adventure, and I, two things, I have never actually been in that game because I just get stuck so badly on that. It gets really confusing, it doesn't explain things very well for me, and it's nothing like standard Super Monkey Ball, you actually go through full areas and stuff, and maybe I'll go for it one day, but that's only when I actually can beat the game myself, and that might not be for a while, um, but anyways though, um, first off we have two new characters here, Yan Yan and the Doctor, um, all, you have the four guys that have been around since the very beginning I believe, um, I've heard that they kind of have a different, like, they they work a little bit differently from one another, like some, some of them have smaller balls like Baby and can fit through smaller um, passages and stuff like that. Others have better, um, def not defense, um, a better jump. Because yeah, you can jump in this game. I don't think that's something you can do in the other games. Um, and just other factors like that. And um, yeah, it's pretty s simple. A pretty simple storyline. I actually haven't beaten this game before either. But that's mainly just due, due to laziness and also just uh, play, because playing just playing a bunch of other games. So I just n didn't really, I just didn't really ever go uh, go back to this game. Like I planned to go back to it eventually, um, but then when I like kind of reorganized my my um, LP list to actually make a schedule out of it. Um, seeing how close Banana Blitz was to when I'm actually when I was actually going to do it, I thought it was a bit pointless to go back to it, and I thought it w it would have just been better just to just L wait for the LP instead. So um, yeah, it's pretty standard stuff like how things work. You just go for the course. Um, Get the bananas. I, th I think it's a hundred gets a gets you alive, or is it ten? I don't remember. But yeah, I'm just gonna warn you guys right now. I'm not a a, a complete expert out at Super Monkey Ball, um, so don't expect like amazing gameplay or anything. I'll try my best. Don't deny that. But I'm okay. It's ten, isn't it? All right. Um. All right. I should have paid attention to that. Alright. I'll try not to do stupid stuff like that too often. But, um... I, I think you can change your character. Let me just see that. Um, if I... Can I pause? There we go. You have to hold it down. Alright. Uh... I don't think you can change from here, but I'm pretty sure you can change after every world or something, so... I'm gonna be changing changing the character probably every world just to spice things up a little bit. Um, but yeah, they don't change. What well, I should. Uh, what what do you call it? I should probably I should re rephrase myself. Like I said, is it basically just changes certain factors like the speed of the jump and the size of the of the ball because you know you got your like little monkey balls but yeah. I don't know how much how many bananas you need actually maybe it's 20 I'm sorry if I sound a bit noobish but I I've never actually played the uh, original monkey ball game so I want I want that all right it looked like it was 20 but um yeah I do enjoy this game uh, the main game for the most part um it's not perfect, like, I, this game is motion control focused, which can be a turn off cook for quite a lot of people from just by default. They work fine enough for this, 
um, at least for this the main game. But I've had times when it's just kind of screwed me over quite a bit. Um, that partially could be because I just suck, but at the same time though, I feel like I would do a lot better at this game if it was controlled by uh, just a controller. But, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's not like Sonic Freeriders bad, I'd say. It's still playable. Um, it's not... It doesn't break the game for me, but only in the single player. If you go for, for, through the, some of the mini-games, they are really bad. Like, I'm not even going to sh sugarcoat it. Like, the, the, con the controls just don't work for most of them, for the mo really, like, at all. Because uh, I, I remember a few years ago, I can't remember how long, it was a while back, but me and my uh, friend Callum tried go playing some of those mini-games just to check, see how uh, things would go and all that. And they are just horribly controlled. Like, it's kind of weird how it how to explain how it works, but if you play any of those mini game mini games, well, maybe not all of them, but the ones we played were just ha handled so horribly. Like, it was ridiculous. And... I get that it's not a major part of the game, but I kind of wish they they kind of fine-tuned it a little bit more, because there's 50 mini-games there, and as far as I, the games I played, which were quite a number of them actually, really, I don't remember any of them being a good time, to be honest, like, um, I may have, like, um, mixed feelings about adventure, but the... The boat, like the multiplayer content in that game, is actually pretty fun. Like, there's only a few um, multiplayer mini games, I believe, but I had so much more fun in those few mini games than the entirety of the 50 mini games in this game, which is honestly kind of sad. Once you consider that this game has more, a lot more um, to offer you, but you know, I guess, I, I guess that shows that quantity isn't everything. Um, and sometimes you gotta have, you gotta make things focus before bringing in all the, all the different uh, mini games and making it like huge and all that. But yeah, I, I, I do, I would like to try out the original Mikey Ball games at some point. Uh, maybe for blind LPs, if you guys want to see that in, uh, in the future, let me know because that'll be. That could be something on my agenda in the future. We'll see. Now, this is a part of the game that I'm not really that fond of, as well as the mini games. But that's a, that's more of a side thing for me. Um, the boss fights. Now, they aren't the worst thing in the world, but I I just don't think that the gameplay style that Super Monkey Ball uses really fits that well for bosses, like. I don't know, it just, especially with the motion controls, it just feels a little bit clumsy to me. And some other, there's a particular boss I remember uh, that kind of takes on, goes on for way too long if you don't uh, just cheese it and just skip most of it. Which I, I'll probably give it an honest effort the first time, but after, if I fail after that, I'm just going to cheese it. Because it really isn't that interesting of a the, well these bosses in general just aren't that interesting just it blatantly shows you their weak spot but trying to just trying to hit it can be a little bit I guess finicky sometimes mainly for because of the motion controls probably uh, I'd say but yeah first world is complete and we got one golden banana Except it's a lot smaller than uh, Donkey, Donkey Kong's Gold Bananas, because I, oh, you know, you, you know, can Candy Kong would know that. Oh, jeez. And yeah, for some reason, it plays credits every time you know, you beat um, a world, and we're just gonna skip through all of those because don't wanna see the credits eight times or whatever. No, I can't even bother to put a name in. Alright. And I'm assuming... No. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. 
<laughs> okay, so I'm assuming... Do we change? No, we don't. Okay. Hold on a sec. Can I... Exit. Alright, let's see how this works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so I go back. Ah, this menu is not working with me. Alright. Do I... It gets rid of my lies, though, is, isn't it? This menu does not like me. Yeah, it's a bit finicky, I find. Don't know if I'm just doing it wrong, but... Yeah, it's just kind of weird. Weird, like... Weird, weird I guess. Ready? Yeah, we lose our lives, so I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna go to the next level with Mimi. Uh, next world with her. And see if the lives count over. If they if they don't, I'm just gonna not worry about it and just keep changing anyway. Okay. Alright, it's a timing thing. My bad. Alright. It feels... I, I've actually... Uh, before recording this, actually... I'm gonna try... Nah, 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 nah. Nah. <laughs> the second thought, I'm not gonna bother doing that. Because I've uh, recently watched, like, about half of a AGDQ... Uh, speed run of this game and some of the stuff the guy, uh, the guy managed to pull off was ridiculous <laughs> basically he just string together a bunch of jumps and just may used it to increase his momentum like no one's business and like this the just the this the uh, time he managed to finish like all those areas is just freaking ridiculous I I would never be able to do that kind of stuff with Super Monkey Ball, at least with this game. Or in general, really, because I'm not that great at the Super Monkey Ball, like, these uh, kinds of games. But at least I got a life. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not the greatest at the Super Monkey Ball series. I'm... I'd say I'm okay, I'm alright at them, but... I don't... I... I'm definitely not speedrun worthy at all. Um, I just... Trying that kind of stuff just kind of... <laughs> worries me greatly. Like, I, I just... I, I just can't keep that stuff going. I, the, whenever I try doing speedrun stuff, it's usually in easier levels or... By complete dumb luck. Because <laughs> I really don't like risking stuff most of the time here. I just kind of go with the flow. And I mean, the stages aren't usually that long. I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna try doing this at least. All right, well, at least. Ah! No, no, no. That would have been stupid. <laughs> but at least I try doing a simple little death. Oh boy. Okay. Actually, I wanna go down here and get some lives. So I don't know if um, after you game over, are you like gone back, going back to stage one of the world? Because that would suck. Like that would suck monkey balls. Alright. I don't. I don't want to do that. I'm not gonna bother doing. I'm not even gonna tr chance that. Alright. I do like that they made the portal at the end like a. Uh, or the goal, like a full round um, object, or whatever, instead of like, well I know in Adventure, like they, it's like a, um, pr it's a lot smaller, like it's a um, little goal um, uh, thing you pass through with a party ball above it or something like that, and it's a lot, I feel like it's a lot stricter to get that compared to this. So, yeah, I like that they kind of made it easier to fit through the goal. And I don't, then again, you don't exactly have, you don't have to hit the, the goal thing above in the other games, at least adventure or whatever. Um, I just, I just, it just kind of feels like the, uh, area where you can 
where you're allowed to um, go onto the what was it? Going to the goal is a lot bigger in this game, at least to me. I don't know. Maybe it's just maybe it's just me, but that's what it feels like. Good bananas. Nice. I'm hoping to get through this game in one go, because, like, we're already, like, getting... We're, we're making our way through World 2 quick, pretty quickly, and there's only... I, I, I've heard that... Okay, let me try this. Ah! Okay. Alright. It's just hard for me to keep things steady. That's the main issue. That was just a fail and a half. Alright. I'll give it one more go. See if I can get to the goal. In that. On that little narrow path. But. Yeah. Yo! That's how you do it. Don't see that. Don't expect to see that kind of stuff often from me, okay? <laughs> yeah. Again, I'll try my best, but yeah, I'm not exactly what you'd call a expert at this. But minus, yeah, minus the motion controls, uh, the boss fights, and the mini games, I have a decent amount of fun with Banana Blitz. Like, um, even with all this stuff added, like the motion controls and all that, kind of not working the best for me. It's still a fun Monkey Ball game. Uh, if you're playing through the single player stuff, uh, at least from the stuff I've played so far, so you know, I can't complain too much. But it, it definitely does interest me to try the other games to see how better they actually are, because like, I, I know pe a lot of people like those. Uh, at least the first two a lot. I don't really know about any of the others. Like, I, I, I never hear anyone talk about any of the games post 2. Um, or maybe I'm just not looking in the right places, but... No, I, I've just never really seen people talk about adventure of this game or any of the others outside of certain uh, events or whatever you'd call them. Like, there was an AGDQ, AGDQ for this game and adventure, so, um, you know, it's not completely for- they aren't completely forgotten, but I just don't hear- I just don't hear these games be being talked about that much. Like, just- and just Monkey Ball in general, really. I don't know why. Well, I guess- I- I guess the excitement for these games kind of just died down over time, which I guess is understandable because these games aren't really- don't- aren't really too different from one another in the sense that the it's going to be the same kind of idea every time like a monkey in a in a uh, ball rolls around in a little 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 um maze well, not a maze but like an obstacle course kind of thing and adventure tried changing things up to for for my money not for the best but it try it try it tried changing things up and, you know, I, I do, did, do appreciate that, but, like, pretty much everything out, all the other games have the same basic idea to it, so I can kind of understand why people would just kind of get tired of it over time, and there's not a lot new to look forward to, I'd say. Um, but some people just like, I guess, the kind of... Play style of the series of the series. Um, I, I don't know though. Maybe I maybe I'm completely wrong, and there's uh, there are other reasons. Um, maybe the other games just turned out really bad. I don't know because again, this and Adventures are the only games I own, and uh, I played a bit of um, a Monkey Ball game in a store one time, like a demo or something. I don't know which one that was, uh, but that's pretty much it as far as my. Uh, knowledge of the series goes. Um, I think there was one on the 3DS or something, uh, but I don't know how that one turned out. Um, but 
yeah, that's pretty much it. So, this is pretty much the best, uh, the game I have that's best, uh, that's most like an original Monkey Ball game, really. And, yeah, this is what I was kind of talking about. Like, you kind of, you have to hit this, like, little button on the missiles, but just the way the motion controls work, it's kind of weird to explain, but it's like, it's really precise trying to jump on these things. And just seeing the guy at AGDQ just doing it with no problem is freaking incredible. Because, like, he jumped on all those three missiles he shot out, um, like this, when I was six. Yeah, he did that. I did it there, but... Oh, man. It's just hard for me to be accurate with this game. That's just... That's really my main issue with how it plays. Yeah, can we skip this? I don't really care. Oh, well. Yay! Yep, you got that right, announcer dude.